So hopefully by now you've seen our Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and S6 Edge Plus coverage, and in those videos you may have seen a few different colors of the devices, but in this video we're taking the Galaxy Note 5, all four colors, and putting them front and center. It's Joshua Vigar from Android Authority, what's going on everybody, and here's a look at the colors of the Galaxy Note 5. We're going to start off with the old colors, the ones you might be familiar with, and then move into the new new. Right now we have the black sapphire color that is really common in the Samsung ecosystem, something you might see a lot uh, in a lot of users' hands out in the wild. And really, it still has that translucent look because the design of the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 is taking on that of the Galaxy S6. So it's going to be pretty reflective, but with the dual glass panel design, you're going to be getting fingerprints all over this thing. But thankfully, the black sapphire does tend to hide it a little bit better than most. And the same goes with the pearl white. Again, a very familiar color to all of you out there. The pearl white still looks quite nice. And the translucency on the backing of this and the black sapphire are actually not quite as drastic uh, because you won't be able to really see your reflections in the backing the way that you can with the other two colors. Uh, black sapphire and pearl white are going to be the colors that probably will be most common. And we're not sure if the next two colors are going to be available in all places in the West, but we can certainly hope so because we move into a somewhat familiar color, one that was introduced and became quite popular with the Samsung Galaxy S6, the Gold Platinum. Now the Gold Platinum really does make this phone look quite different. It has a very different sheen to it, but its translucency is probably where I personally don't really like this particular color. It's just a certain preference of mine that I don't really want the reflections on the back to be so prominent. Uh, but we did hear from a lot of people already that they really like the gold and the upcoming last color. Uh, and what we really have here is just a fingerprint smudgy, very fingerprint prone device. Uh, really on the backing, you're gonna have to wipe off the device if you want it to look as pristine as possible, as was the case when we were taking our footage and pictures of these devices, we had to wipe them down from uh, constantly. And finally, we take a look at the Titanium Silver. This is the newest color, one that is being introduced in the Note 5 and the S6 Edge Plus. Now, the Titanium Silver is a nice little compromise between the black and the white. So if you want to find something just a little bit different without going too far in either direction, this might be the one for you. But again, just like with the Gold Titanium, I did have a small problem with the translucency on the back. It was a little bit too reflective. Uh, and uh, to me, that's just not something that I wanted to find. I kind of prefer matted uh, colors myself. But really, it's not a bad color per se, uh, and it does benefit from the design of the Note 5, uh, rather the design of the S6, which the Note 5 is using now. And really, all of the phones still look pretty great, especially with the metal frames all around that are just uh, really garnishes on top of what are these four great colors. So tell us in the comments below what you think is the color you might be going for and why. And keep it tuned to Android Authority for even more about the Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and the S6 Edge Plus because we are your source for all things Android.